Or maybe I could take their human teeth and put them on the middle of the bowl as, an, as a garnish. <laughs> front coming this weekend I'm trying to get out and get some hogs before uh well we're probably gonna get rained on but we'll see um i never caught a hogfish zach's never caught a hogfish maybe chris will bring us some luck let's go it. 71 miles offshore in 146 feet of water the rain's looking worse than we thought. Um, so let's see if we can, ooh, bottom looks really good, but I don't know. We're not gonna make it as far as we originally thought. It's not gonna be front. So let's give it a whirl. <laughs> you know, it's like, if we came out here and had to catch snapper, all we would catch is grunts. But because we have to catch a grunt... Come on, let's see something. Another grass corgi? Sea bass. How big do these guys gotta be? Really? I might eat him. He's got some good meat on him. The black sea bass. He's at least 12, right? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Oh, wait, with the bounties, you don't have to say the code word, right? I don't, is there a code word for the free ones? No, no, no. Oh, you have to say Kobe, you're right. I don't know, dude. There you go. Come on, let it be a hog. Ooh, another sheep. Good sheep. I don't think he's keeper though, is he? 12 inches? I think, yeah, yeah. Keep them if you feel like cleaning them. Do you want to clean them, Zach? Huh? Are you going to clean them? I don't want any fish today. Chris? No. Okay. <clears throat> well, Chris, you just got to get better. That's a fat red mouth. Look at that bad boy. Oh, grunt for me. 15 pounder, blue. Sit on the camera. Chris Paddock, week three, Kobe Mango. G give him his points. Sea dogs. Sea dogs. <sighs> Come on, give me the mango. 
This is whatever it is, a small lizard. Little. That's a squirrel fish, actually. <laughs> Put him in the box. Gagger! Look at that blue tail. Ouch. You stuck me pretty good there, dude. Ooh, come on. It's either gag or a hog, I'm calling it. Yep, big gag. Oh, nice. Is he keeper, you think? Yee! No, he was not. Sorry, right. can't even get the goddamn grunt. <laughs> it's just a decent gag. See ya. Bloop. I can see it. It's a grunt. It's a big grunt. Yeah. All right, Chris Pettit, week three. Kobe, give him his grunt points. They're getting sea worried. Dogs. Sea dogs. He can go in the box. Yeah, go. Yep. <laughs> what do you got, Zach? Mango. Mango. There's Zachary with the mango points. Zachary Paulus, week three. Kobe, give him the snapper points. That's a nice one. Yeah. As long as he's 12. Throw him in the box. Coast Guard Cutter Vice, Coast Guard Cutter Vice. This is Coast Guard Second Thank you, Newsburg on Channel 16, over. Coast Guard Cutter, Cutter. Two Coast Guard Cutter Vice, Doctor. Not a bad little afternoon sleep fest. Plenty of grunt, mangoes, sheep's head. Unfortunately, the hog is still eluding me. Eluding me. I will find you, hogfish. We get another decent day like this. All right, we're done fishing. It's actually the next day. Fish is nice and firm, been on ice. Gonna rinse it off, fillet it up, and then we're gonna go inside and make sheep's head bisque because supposedly sheep's head tastes like lobster. Imitation lobster. So we're gonna try some shit. So. So I looked at a recipe for this bisque. Um, I'm just gonna kind of wing it because that usually works out. It is February 1st. I made it a whole month without alcohol. Dry January is a success. Some days I really wanted to get cooked. Other days it didn't really hit me or bother me. Um, I haven't got the urge to get cooked tomorrow Super Bowl. We'll see, but whatever. So I'm gonna saute some garlic, a scallion, or excuse me, a scallion. What the hell is this onion called? A shallot, um, 
some thyme, some carrots, seafood stock, and tomato paste. I'm going to put all that, once it's simmered and cooked in a little bit and incorporated, I'm going to pull the thyme out, put it into the blender so that it's creamy, add some half and half, and then throw the fish in the last second to let it kind of finish cooking in the, the bisque and we'll see if this is good and if not then whatever I'll just make some fried chicken I don't care so here we go All right, so we got all of our, why did I put the time in the, God, I'm losing my damn mind. I put the time in the silverware drawer. Um, so now that we got all of our veggie parts and I just kind of rough, rough cut everything as you can see, cause it's going to go in the blender. So that shit's going to be liquefied. But um, now we're going to cube up our sheep's head, but I put the, she, uh, the seafood broth into the pan or pot and now I'm going to mix in the tomato puree and basically kind of par cook oh my gosh come on! thank you uh, kind of cook the sheep's way sheep's head lord I can't talk I swear it's I can't cook when I'm not cooked I swear this my YouTube channel is going to go down the crapper because I can't I don't know why because I'm not drinking I'm washed if I open up a beer, I'm going to turn into freaking Gordon freaking Ramsay. So, anyways, um, tomato paste in the seafood broth. Going to clean up this sheep's head so that it's nice, no scales, no bones. Cube it up. Uh, two nice, really, fillets off that fish. As you saw, Zach caught this offshore yesterday. My brother always seems to catch the really nice fish when he's on my boat, but, you know. Get these right, and I'm going to throw them into the bisque broth stuff for a few minutes. Take it out, mix in the veggies, blend it up, cook it a little more, heavy cream, put them back in, and we'll be rocking and rolling.
So this is one of those fancy KitchenAid blenders that could literally spin so fast that it cooks soup. You just throw tomatoes in here and make tomato um, tomato soup by just literally firing the thing up. Oh shoot! Where the hell did that come from? I did lock it in. Lock it up, Kyle. I'll get tomato soup all over vlog of this. Oh my god. Let's do this. <laughs> Baby, that smells good. All right, we're gonna go back into the pot. Very low simmer. <clears throat> oh, that's nice and thick and yummy. And it actually looks like bisque. Woo! Mm! That thick, silky goodness! I love making a mess for my wife. Okay, so we're gonna add in, and this is, like I said, super, super low. Where is my heavy cream? There we go. Heavy cream it up. It's the last little add-in before. There's dog hair everywhere in this damn house. Last little add-in before. Oh my gosh. I went to elementary school. I know how to open these dang things. Oh, you're gonna. <laughs> Okay, heavy cream. Stir that in. It's a very silky, yummy looking soup. Actually, it's a bisque. Keep saying soup. And then we're going to put our yummy sheep's head back in. Okie dokie. I wish I could hit you with that smell vision. It's a very thick, creamy. Let's see if I screwed up or not. more salt but I'll tell you what this is my second video of 2020 first one obviously if you don't go back was uh, the prime rib for Christmas it's pretty damn good boy So it looks good. Oh my god, I'm just making a mess. I can't take credit for the chicken Caesar salad that Stephanie just made with little chicken bits. But I think the soup's gonna be really good. Let me know. It's hot!
Is it rich? Yeah. Next time, I'm gonna take the claws from the sheep's head, like the lobster, and I'm gonna cook the meat and put it on top. Or maybe I could take their human teeth and put them on the middle of the bowl as, an, as a garnish. <laughs> Tastes just like lobster. Wow. You can go get me some more of them convicts. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good.